Hey everyone, Wilm here. Today I'm going to play some more Factorio. I'll be bringing a little bit of a tips and tricks here on how to play, how to build a completely self sufficient factory line. At the very least, how I have been doing it. This is not the best. As you can see, it's a self made map, but it's basically just to show you all how it's done. Or show you all how I, at the very least, do it. I've been seeing a couple of YouTubers do it kind of poorly you know the idea is okay but for example having a circle around these for example it at first it might look good but really it isn't because that means that you have to con constantly put shit into it my line for example uh, yeah there's someone attacking down there my lasers are going crazy uh, here for example some cogs uh, some more some uh, wires and here making a circuit, circuit, actually no, ALT! I f keep on forgetting about that. As you can see, this is how everything is being built down the entire line. As you can see, the byproducts are uh, not that much, not that many. And down here you have a couple of crates that just catches everything. While these, for example, go with science, they catch all the science here, you know, as you see, three, four, we'll send it all down here. Uh, th this is just for energy. You do you only seem to need about one boiler per one steam engine, or actually no, that's not entirely true. If they're running at a hundred percent, you'll need about uh, let's see, one point three boilers per steam engine, I think. Uh, just about, <laughs> I've, uh, not entirely, but just about. As you see, uh, this entire area, area is fucking polluted. It's no wonder this place is being attacked all the time. But, you know, this is actually, I would say, a very efficient line. Uh, it's not good to upscale it, because you still have the limit of the conveyor belts. So it will get to a point where it's just impossible to scale it up anymore. Because the lines will always be backed up, and you don't want that. That's one of the least things, you, last things you'll want. Also, uh, if you want to use fuel, one of the most efficient types of fuel are solid fuel. As far as I know, there's, there might be other ones, I'm just not entirely certain myself. Because it's quite a bit more powerful than coal, which is 8. And this is 25, so using that will... You, well, you need a use for all the solid fuel we're pumping out with, you know. You can start fracking and making this into petrol, but you, know, you might as well just make solid fuel and use it. And really though, and then for everything outside, th th that's one of the beauties about this line. You just continues to be also be able to just send in stuff from other places. Like, you know, they, these are almost empty. Uh, but there's also some more metal down here. We can make a huge factory here. Send all up here and straight into this factory line again. You know, I, I would say that this is my so far favorite factory line. But I want to know from you, mostly because I want to become better. And I want you know, to improve my own methods always. So tell me in the comment section below what you think of this. Do you know a better one? Because I would certainly love to know. Because I like this one because I don't need to do anything. Oh wait, this is still an engines. I was using that to make engines late earlier. This is ba as I said, this is basically a map just to test things. You know, test sciences and tanks and yeah. As I said, tell me in the comment section below. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next video.